Your class has been working hard. You have earned an ice cream party, but your teacher wonders what type of ice cream she should buy. I hope everyone had a great day today. And in this lesson, we will learn to draw bars on a graph by using a scale. Okay, let's review. Let's go over the parts of a bar graph. First, we have the X and Y axis. The X axis goes horizontally. Horizontally means left and right. That is going horizontal. That is along the horizon side to side. The Y axis goes up and down. That is vertically. We always have the title of the bar graph and in this case it's going to be favorite ice cream flavors of our class. We always have the scale that is what numbers we are going to use along the y-axis that is vertically. In this case uh, we're going by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. We always need to make sure that we label our X and Y axis so everybody knows um, what we are going, what the uh, values are. So the Y axis is labeled number of votes and the X axis is labeled ice cream flavors. Uh, and also, we need to make, need to make sure that um, we know what the ice cream flavors are. Uh, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And then of course we have the the part of the bar graph as to why they are called bar graphs. Those would be the bars so we would have for the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Alright, a common misunderstanding when labeling and starting your bar graphs would be in regards to the scale on the y-axis, that is the vertical axis, that is the axis that goes up and down, this axis right here. Let's talk about that. If you take a look, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, the common misunderstanding is increments. In this case, increments, they're the increase from one tick mark to the next, okay? The tick marks are the lines in between. Increments can be labeled either 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay? The scale, the common misunderstanding is that the scale always has to count in increments of one. That is not the case. They do not always have to count in increments of one. They can, uh, the scale can be in increments of whatever you decide. Can be in increments of two, uh, can be in increments of five, 10, 25, 50, 100. Um, there are bar graphs that uh, we have already seen that are in increments of millions. If we did those bar graphs in increments of one, uh, they would be humongous. And as you can see, uh, this current graph right now is in increments of three. Um, it is whatever we need them to be in, whatever would make it uh, neat and easy to read. Okay, so make sure you remember that when we are making our bar graphs. Okay, so, your teacher asks you to vote for your favorite type of ice cream. We have eight students vote for chocolate, 12 students vote for vanilla, and five students vote for strawberry. So, eight students vote for chocolate, 12 for vanilla, and five for strawberry. All right, so the way that we make our bar graph that we've gone over, drawing the bars. First you slide the scale up on the y-axis, the vertical axis, the axis that goes up and down. Then you slide to the category and then you draw a line and fill in the bar. So you slide the scale, that means you go up and down, up the uh, y-axis. 
Then you slide to the category. So chocolate was uh, eight. So we slid up to the eight. We slide over to the chocolate. And then we draw a line and fill in the bar, just like we see there. Now we're going to do the same for vanilla. Slide the scale, start from the zero point, which is always in this lower corner here. This is always at zero. We go up to 12, because 12 students voted for vanilla. Go over to the slide to the category, over to the vanilla, draw a line, and fill in the bar. Now our increments on here are in two, so we need to slide to the scale, but five students voted for strawberry. So our increment, our, our votes for five are going to be between four and six. So we're gonna be between four and six. Then we slide to the category over to strawberry, draw a line and fill in the bar. We draw the line to make sure that we don't go above the line and we make sure that our, our bar is neat. All right, now we can also do bar graphs horizontally, that means side to side. We just do the same thing. We slide the scale, so we would do for chocolate, eight, right there. Go slide to the category, draw our line and fill in the bar. 12 students voted for vanilla, so we slide the scale to the 12, draw the line and fill in the bar. Same thing for the strawberry. Slide the scale, there's our five, fill in the line, and draw in the, and color in the bar. So what type of ice cream should your teacher buy? Well, we would pick what most of the students pick just for, just because, so we would buy vanilla. In this lesson, you have learned to draw the bar on a graph by using a scale that was using the uh, scale on the Y axis, the vertical axis, the axis that goes up and down.